We are on top of breaking news tonight on WFMY News 2 at 6. The family of a 15 year old shot and killed in Thomasville last week speaking for the first time. Jeremy Redwine Jr. died Friday from a gunshot wound to the head. The family is sharing their heartbreak on the same day police announced an arrest in this case. A 14 year old suspect charged with having a stolen gun. Police say more charges are coming. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffrey spoke with the victim's family just moments ago. Yes, Chad and Julie, I just got done speaking to that grieving family. They tell me that the teenager was at a friend's house when he was shot and killed. Family knows Jeremy Dallas Redwine as Dallas. Redwine's family says the 15 year old was extraordinary, always making people laugh and the life of the party. They say he enjoyed fishing, playing his PlayStation and hanging out with friends. By blood, Kimberly Redwine Turner is Dallas Redwine's second cousin. Yet for the past year, she says she's been filling the role as mom for him. Dallas was, is, the most important person in the entire world to a lot of people. Um, he was the most courageous child I've ever met. He had been through so much, yet he overcomes so much. And he was finding himself, the things that he liked, the style that he liked, his hair, which he absolutely loved. Um, he was courageous. He was the most strongest person that I've probably ever met. Police say the teen was shot in the head Thursday and died at the hospital Friday night. Thomasville police officers arrested a 14 year old suspect. He's charged with possession of a stolen firearm and more charges are expected. Right now, the 14 year old is being held at the nearest juvenile facility in Alexander County. Redwine's aunt and uncle urged firearm safety to prevent situations like these. If you, uh own a gun, make sure to keep up with them, keep them locked up when you're especially when there's children around or you mm -hmm. don't have them in your possession. We're proud firearms owners. We try to be responsible. We actually try to teach Dallas gun safety. We did. And if any yep. children out there know that a fellow student has a firearm and shouldn't have it, let somebody know that could have avoided this tragedy. The family says that they are trying to plan a memorial at this point, and they also shared with us, they showed us bracelets that students at school and the nurses at Baptist had made in Dallas's honor. For now, live in Thomasville, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.